from Paul Harbor, Florida, Paul McBeth. <laughs> This tournament's been a battle. Um, we're here at the final day, one round left, 18 holes uh, to decide this Memorial Championship. I think there's four people within one stroke right now, and then another more lingering, two or three back. So, it's, I mean, it's been a battle, it's been a grind. You know, scores are nowhere near what they were last year, but the weather's a little different this year. It looks like it, it could rain. Um, actually, I think they're predicting 80% chance of rain. Um, I'm ready for that, prepared for that. I think it might bring in some higher scores, but I'm gonna attack it the same. You know, I think if other people are laying up, I have an opportunity to gain some ground, and you know, I'm gonna go for it. Just step up to that first tee, and just get it in bounds. You know, you don't want to start this round with a bogey. Birdie would be huge, but par is fine to start this tournament. There's uh, 18 holes out there, so with, with me being in the lead and a couple more tied, that first hole is just getting it in bounds. Uh, it's one of the Innova Junior team members, Anthony Barella. Uh, he's had my bag the last two years. Um, uh, three years, right? Last three years? Two or three? Yeah. But uh, he's, he's been there. I won a title with him on my bag, and I also last year shot 1132 with him on my bag. Uh, it's been awesome watching Paul. He's just super inspirational. He shoots the best round ever, the 1132, and that was awesome to watch.
he's only missed one hole. He's big time. Hopefully he'll chance. get every hole finishing out. So what do you think you should do here? You should just play a huge hyzer and just get in the middle of the fairway and then just, just put it up there for an easy birdie. His dressing, his clothes. Nice choice. Got approved. Yeah, actually, they are my clothes, so they're approved. World champ privilege? Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, we're sitting out here waiting to play the last couple holes. I don't think I've ever seen it rain in the desert. But that's because I don't live in the desert. So We're at a hold up right now. We've got a floodplain happening on one of the holes. I don't think I've ever seen this much rain in Minnesota, honestly. Back in the 90s I had it happen at this same course. 
in the 90s. Back in the 90s. We didn't know about that, young I wasn't, even, <laughs> I wasn't even in digits yet. <laughs> um, there's a little water in the fairway. I, we were teeing off from up top, and you could see like the wave. It was like the tsunami coming in. You could see coming from that uh, drain down there, just rushing at the tee pad, and there were guys standing there about to tee off, and you could just see it rushing in. The lead card right now, they have to theoretically throw like from this deep water, which is, I've never seen that, it's pretty funny. Yeah, my disc is in the water right now, so I, I don't know where I'm gonna play from next, it's funny. We're gonna start at five o'clock. Official recap is Mother Nature dumped on us, and uh, we were forced to take a delay because of the uh, river that runs down hole 15, and it actually covered the tee pad, so it made it an unplayable. Uh, most of the men's pro open division played with a semi river running down it, so we'll continue in the same fashion. I'm ready. Do it, Tommy. Anytime you win the memorial, uh, it's, it's an awesome victory. You know, it means a lot to me. This is my third time winning it. Uh, after taking second last year, kind of kind of hurt a bit, but you know, I was glad to come back. It was tough. Again, I'm exhausted from you know all the weather changes, but you know, it was a great experience and I had a blast. I have no clue how, how close my shot was on that hole. You know, it was a wet tee pad, so I just slowly approached it and threw my shot up there. Uh, unfortunately, it rolled a little long, but you know I had those strokes to work with, so you know, I just I just tried to put it in, and I wasn't too worried if I did not. The last putt is awesome, you know. You know it's over. All you gotta do is put it in the basket, and you know there's just all that pressure goes away, and then it just turns to straight excitement. So uh, that final putt is just a huge relief. The shoulders get to drop, you get to relax, and uh, you know I can't wait, can't wait for next year, and then just more more big tournaments to come. Drew, Drew Gibson, he was charging uh, all week. You know, it's awesome to see him up there. He's young, talented, and Jared also, a team of a member. Uh, they were just, they were lighting it up all week. The more players there are, the more it's going to elevate others to get better. And you know, you'll see a lot more people at the top, and it'll be, it'll just be that much more exciting. I honestly have no expectations going into the season. You know, I had a good year last year. Uh, you know, of course, the goal is to top that your previous year and get better, but. You know, I just I just want to push myself to get better. You know, if I if I'm getting better, others are going to get better. So, 
you know, I, I need to push myself as hard as I can and, you know, just keep keep racking in wins and, you know, just just increasing that rating and just feeling like I'm improving is the biggest goal, is always improving.